Hello. To be very honest, sometimes we come to, I come to passage from the Bible and I struggle. I don't know what to do with this text. Uh, I might disagree with it. I, sometimes I would like just to cut it out from my Bible. Maybe one example could be from uh, the book of Romans, chapter 5. In verse 3, Paul, the author, says, Suffering produce endurance, and endurance produce character, and character produce hope. I struggle a little about it because it feels, um, I, would call, I would call it old school masculinity. Life has to be tough. Uh, it has to hurt. No pain, no gain. You know, hope cannot be something easily accessed. You have to work hard for it. Um, but the reality when I'm looking at this text and try to understand is that, uh, like many, I don't really know what it is to suffer. Uh, to be in place um, that is difficult, to face hardship. And probably this is why I try to stay away from texts like these. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I hurt my body, I have some, you know, breaks, uh, breakups and things like that, but I don't know what it really feels like to be a political refugee and to be alone, like really alone in a foreign country, to struggle with addiction, especially during this opioid crisis, not knowing how I will uh, feed my family and every day it's the same panic, it's the same struggle. And for people who face those situations, this is not a concept. This is not theory. Suffering is real. It probably the same situation the Romans were facing. Paul wrote to them. It's not a community he founded himself. Uh, and he, but still he knows that the Romans face first signs of what we will call the great persecution of early Christianity. And in its own way, Paul wants to give them hope. But it's not easy. Because probably they heard, the Romans heard many empty promises. And they met very many disappointed saviors that tell them they will solve all their problems. Paul, rather than trying to solve their problem, invite them to believe in something better than themselves, something rooted in God's love. And all those years later, uh, we have to admit we're still longing for hope. Because we feel that hope might be in a limited supply these days. We can think of the climate change crisis, War that does not seem to stop around the globe, gun violence, populism, the rise of right-wing nationalism, and everything that comes with it. Sometimes we feel that there's no such thing as justice in our world. The wrong people get away while the children, innocent children, are put in cages. It does not make sense. This is why we need a message of hope. Because hope is as necessary for a soul than oxygen for our body. We need those encouragement for those who really struggle, for those who ask questions. And we need to be reminded that we are not alone. God still loves us, despite what we're told and maybe the, what we're seeing around us. God is still there. God still cares. It might not change everything, but it can help us to go on one more day and keep working. Once again, thank you very much for watching.
I remain Stefan Vernet, the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself. And bye-bye.